In September 2025, a comet from another star entered our solar system. Yet, when scientists fed its data into Google's quantum AI, the results broke every rule we thought we knew. No water, no iron, and movement that defied gravity. 3AI Atlas isn't just strange, it's impossible. For the first time in history, an artificial intelligence didn't just observe the universe. It predicted something no telescope ever could. And what it discovered sent shockwaves through astrophysics. What is this thing? Where did it come from? And what if it wasn't alone? Stay with us and get on board now to avoid missing future updates. What's about to emerge will change everything. The emergence of 3AI Atlas on July 1, 2025, an alert from the Atlas Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Telescope triggered one of the most unexpected astronomical scrambles in recent memory. The object in question, initially cataloged as X to O to 5Q1 Atlas, was flagged for its hyperbolic trajectory, a mathematical signature indicating that it was not gravitationally bound to the Sun. Within 72 hours, additional observatories confirmed what Atlas had detected. A third interstellar object had entered our solar system. It was officially designated 3A, making it only the third confirmed object after Amuamua in 2017 and to I. Borisov in 2019. Racing through space at approximately 5,000 meters per second, 3EA was inbound toward perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, scheduled for October 23, 2025. That left scientists just 16 weeks to gather as much data as possible before it slingshotted back into interstellar space. The path of the comet was plotted with high precision using the minor planet center's orbital elements, which immediately demonstrated that its speed and entry angle made a solar system origin impossible. This object wasn't simply unusual, it was from somewere far beyond the Cooper Belt, the Oort Cloud, or even our nearest stellar neighbors. Global response, within days an international coalition of observatories mobilized. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST turned its near-infrared spectrograph near-spec toward the object. Ground-based assets like Gemini North and Pan Stars in Hawaii provided optical and infrared follow-ups, while radio telescopes monitored its heat emissions. All in all, over 12 petabytes of data were collected in just for months. The urgency was clear. Unlike repeat comets or planets, 3A I was a one-time visitor. Every observation window mattered. Why was 3AI so captivating? It wasn't just its speed or origin. It was what happened when those terabytes of sensor data were processed, not through traditional models, but by an entirely new kind of computational intelligence. The results shattered expectations, forcing scientists to question fundamental assumptions about comet chemistry, formation, and trajectory. Something about 3A I was deeply wrong, or perhaps radically different. Enter quantum AI. As 3A I barreled toward the sun, its light and dust painted a rich canvas across multiple spectra. But even the most powerful telescopes could only capture the surface, the visible, the immediate. To truly understand what was unfolding, researchers turned somewhere radically new, quantum artificial intelligence. For the first time, a machine would simulate not just what we saw, but every possibility hidden in the data. The next chapter of this story begins not with a telescope, but with Google's Sycamore Quantum Processor. In October 2025, quantum researchers at NASA's Information Sciences Lab uploaded spectroscopic data from JWST into a custom simulation running on Sycamore. Within 11 minutes, the AI returned over 50,000 distinct outcomes, each modeling potential cometary behaviors. These weren't just rough guesses, they were high-resolution predictions accounting for gas dynamics, stellar radiation, magnetic fields, and compositional chemistry. Variables that would normally take classical supercomputers weeks or months to process individually. Quantum simulation works differently. Instead of computing one outcome at a time, systems like Sycamore process superpositions running all possible paths in parallel. 
In layman's terms, imagine calculating every ripple in a pond caused by tossing 1,000 stones from different angles, all at once. That is the power of quantum AI. When it simulated three AI, it wasn't asking, what is this object doing now? It was asking, what could it possibly be doing, and which versions of reality match the incoming data best? The early results raised eyebrows. Certain patterns, especially in the CO emission curves, didn't fit any known comet template. Instead of matching the behavior of space objects like the comets Hale-Bopp or Toei Borisov, the output revealed inconsistencies. Most strikingly, the model predicted that water vapor typically dominant in comet outgassing would play a minimal role in 3AI, Atlas. Instead, carbon dioxide emissions were anticipated to dominate by a ratio larger than 8 to 1. That wasn't just a surprise, it marked a significant change in our assumptions about cometary evolution. Even more unsettling, the AI didn't take this as an exception, it treated it as a rule for this object. Across tens of thousands of simulations, the same CO2 dominant profile kept appearing. The odds of this being random error or observational bias were calculated to be less than 0.081%. In other words, 3AI. Atlas wasn't behaving weirdly, it was acting consistently, just not in a way any astronomer had seen before. Imagine, the chemistry of 3AI. Atlas isn't just rare, but completely alien. The quantum AIS first anomaly pointed to a CO2-rich composition formed under conditions our solar system never offered. However, that was not the only surprise Sycamore revealed. When it dug deeper into the dust and gas surrounding the comet, it uncovered something far more perplexing. The spectral fingerprints suggested a type of metal separation that defied stellar chemistry. It was time to question the very building blocks of this object. For millennia, comets have been defined by their water content. As they get closer to the sun, their icy cores are heated by radiation, causing water ice to sublimate into gas. The glowing coma and tail that humans have observed since antiquity are caused by this process, but with three AI, Atlas, that script unraveled. The quantum AI analysis revealed a CO2 to H to O ratio of 8 to 1 the highest ever recorded for any comet, whether interstellar or not. The majority of solar comets are made up of water, with carbon dioxide appearing only in lesser amounts. This anomaly raised urgent questions. How might an object lose more CO2 than H2O unless it was forged under drastically different conditions? Scientists suggested a few hypotheses. First, 3AI. Atlas may have originated near a carbon-rich red dwarf, where carbon dioxide is more prevalent in frozen form. Second, a thick, dusty crust may trap heat, sublimating water beneath the surface while allowing CO2 to escape. Third, it could be the result of exposure over millions of years to cosmic rays, thereby modifying the surface chemistry of the object. This is especially puzzling because CO2 sublimates at lower temperatures than water. This means it should evaporate earlier, at greater distances from the sun. Yet the emissions profile not only demonstrated early CO2 activity, it showed sustained dominance as the object passed the two astronomical units mark, a region where water should start to emerge. The CO2 continued while water emission remained curiously low. According to classical models, that should not happen, yet it did. The CO2 anomaly not only shattered expectations, it redefined them. A comet with this chemistry suggests a planetary system with various snow lines, radiation pressure, and stellar output. That's more than exotic, it's evolutionary. It hints that 3AI, Atlas might be a relic from a solar nursery utterly unlike our own, shaped by forces, stars, and physics that challenge our assumptions. And the deeper Sycamore looked, the stranger things became. Iron and nickel are cosmic companions, born in the same nuclear reactions inside supernovae. Typically, these metals travel together, forming alloys and meteorites, planetary cores, and cometary dust. But in October 2025, as JWST and Sycamore continued their observations of 3AI, Atlas, they found something that defied this rule. 
Between 7.5 and 10 microns, the absorption signature of nickel appeared, but iron lines were nearly absent. This was not a slight discord, it was a conspicuous absence in the records. This result stunned astrophysicists. Iron and nickel form under the same thermodynamic circumstances in nearly identical stellar zones. Every known comet, including Tuai, Borisov, and 1I, Aumuamua, contains both in trace amounts. Iron is, in fact, typically the more prominent of the two. To find nickel without iron in a dust plume meant that 3AI, Atlas either formed in a chemically segregated environment or had undergone processing that stripped iron away post-formation. Both possibilities were extraordinary. Several theories emerged. Some suggested 3AI. Atlas may have formed in the outer regions of a planetary system with metal pores where nickel could condense without iron. Others suggested a more radical concept. Perhaps the comet had been exposed to intense stellar flares or cosmic radiation that selectively eroded iron. But even these didn't fully explain the data. Iron is more abundant than nickel by almost 20 to 1 in most stellar disks. Its complete absence couldn't be brushed off as coincidence. Sycamore ran over 35,000 simulations to account for the metal separation. None could reproduce it. 